outdated legislation. Gender is only one piece of that. Congress has the opportunity to update the whole thing here. The Supreme Court announcing this week that it will not take up a case challenging the male-only military draft. A men's rights organization says the Military Selective Service Act is unconstitutional because it's, quote, unlawful sex discrimination. Now the issue is in the hands of Congress to decide just how to move forward. Tonight, 25 News reporter Leah McNeil tells us what to expect. An unspoken expectation. Came out of high school and six months later I joined the United States military. Coming from a military family and social norms back in the 80s. We, we had to sign up and that was the understanding. Ron Jupiter joined the military in 1986, 14 years after the last military draft, which requires all males at the age of 18 to register. Jupiter believes the Selective Military Service Act is outdated. It's, it's totally not within the spirit of what America is today. And this particular law is one of the last remaining explicit statutes and federal law that still discriminates based on sex. The Supreme Court choosing to defer decisions surrounding this act to Congress, but we haven't had a draft in decades. So why does this matter? So I think we can always open our eyes and realize where in the past governments might have discriminated based on sex, that this is no longer constitutional or permissible in our current society. Military has a gender problem. I don't think that this is the route I would take to fix that gender problem. The ultimate decision up to Congress, who has visited this act in previous years. Some saying the matter of gender is just a surface level issue. The world is changing. Technology is changing. Our ideas of gender are changing. So the quality of our selective service registration system can be revisited. For Jupiter, it's a matter of mirroring today's societal standards. When you put on a uniform, we're one. We need to move forward in terms of making this nation what we prescribe it to be. It's unclear as to when Congress will be discussing this act. Reporting in Bell County, Leah McNeil, 25 News. Leah, thank you. Now, the ACLU has not taken a stance on this actual case. They just want it to be recognized that the nature of the draft in general is unconstitutional. The Selective Service System is the agency that registers men and is responsible for running a draft. Almost all men between ages 18 and 25 who are U.S. citizens or immigrants living in the U.S. are required to register. Citizens must register within 30 days of turning 18 and immigrants have to register within 30 days of arriving to the United States. If Congress and the President authorize a draft, the Selective Service will start calling the registered men for duty. It's determined by random lottery number and year of birth. Then they'll be examined for mental, physical and moral fitness for service. Now, if you do not register for selective service, you aren't eligible for federal student aid, federal job training, even to get a federal job. You could also be prosecuted and face up to a fine of $250,000 or even five years behind bars. And if you are an immigrant, you will not be eligible for citizenship. The last draft was held by lottery in 1972. That was Vietnam. The military has been all volunteer since 73, but an act of Congress could still reinstate the draft in a national emergency.